Hello friends, welcome to my Cyber Predator channel. So guys, in today's video, we will be solving one of the issue or one of the problem of Kali Linux that every user faces. And basically, the problem is permission denied. I know guys, you as a user have faced this problem various times and not got the perfect solution. So in this video, I will be giving you two different solutions over this problem. So let's get started. So guys, before starting our video, I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming updates as we are very close to our 100 subscribers. So please subscribe my channel. Let's move to our video now. So at my desktop location, there is a folder or directory which is named as demo. As I open this folder, I am getting an issue that is error opening directory permission denied. So guys, the error I got is permission denied due to unaccess granted permission or I am not able or I am not granted to access this file or access this folder. So we can solve this problem with two different solutions. So to solve this problem, we just need to move to our terminal now. And I will go to the directory where my demo folder is stored. So basically it is in our desktop location. As you see, it is demo folder. So the first solution is to change the permissions of this folder in which we can read, write and execute it as we will give the permissions on behalf of root or behalf of the root user. So basically to do that, you just need to type a command that is sudo chmod which is change mode and just you need to give the permissions in the form of digits or in the form of alphabets that is x, w and r. So x is for execute, w is for write and r is for read. Also you can give these permissions in the form of digits like 4, 2 and 1. So we will give just execute permissions. Okay, we'll simply give full permissions to this folder. You will understand it better. So I will give in the form of digits. So for read, write and execute, we have seven. And for different users and for different groups, we will give two more sevens. Means the folder is given full permissions to be accessed, to be read and to be executed. So, and the folder which will be given this permission is demo. So as you see now, we have given the full permissions to the demo folder and we can try to edit this folder or try to touch any file or create any different documents in that particular folder. We will just try to open this folder now. As you see now, I am able to open this folder and I can create a particular document also. So I will simply create a text file name as demo1. So as you see, the text file is also created and we have full permissions about this folder now. We can do anything as we require. So we will just list the permissions which we have given in the form of long listing format. So as you see, firstly open, we have demo folders and its permissions. We have simply given read, write, execute to the user, then read, write, execute to particular group and read, write, x or read, write, execute to a particular other user. So means we have given full permissions to access this folder and the permission denied error will be solved. So this was the first solution through which you can solve the problem. So the next solution that through which we can solve is directly to logged in to our root user or high privilege user. As we see, we will just log in to our root user. And I will simply ls the file that is demo folder and we will try to enter this folder now. So as you see, we have full access of this demo folder. So basically the root user is a high privilege user and you can do anything with the root user. Only the thing you need to do is to not edit any sensitive files which are very crucial to your system, which can harm to your system if any misconfiguration happens. So basically a root user account is to be handled very carefully. No other unauthorized user should be given full access of root user or full access of this account. Only the authorized person should handle the account. So basically these are the two solutions through which the, our problem that is permission denied problem will be solved and you will get full usage of a particular file or a particular folder. So I hope you have got the solution of your problem and I hope you will like my video and subscribe my channel and you will definitely complete our 100 subscribers goal. 
so stay tuned for next updates and goodbye and thank you